but it shall come forth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Thank you, precious Father Lord, that both the speaker and the hearer shall be blessed. Amen. Thank you, sweet Spirit of God, for bringing the word from the throne of grace and downloading it unto us. Amen. I say, come and have your way. I step out of the way. You are the vessel. You are the container in this vessel, Spirit of God. You are the container in this vessel. Amen. Do what you alone can do Amen. and speak expressly. Yes, True, your handmaiden, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Amen. It's our month of peace and praise. Amen. And we will continue to praise him for the rest of the year, for the rest of our lives. We will not cease to praise him. I say you will not cease to praise God. Amen. You will not cease to praise God. Amen. He will always give you cause to praise. Amen. He will always give you reasons to praise. Amen. Praise and thanksgiving shall not cease from your mouth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, it's our year of, you know, it's refreshing presence. And the Lord is refreshing us. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm being refreshed. Because the refreshing comes from His presence. Amen. 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 You know, when the Lord said to us this year that it's, it's a year of it's a refreshing presence, the Lord knows what was coming and what was going to happen. He knows everything before it happens. Praise the Lord. And He said, it's your year of refreshing presence. Amen. 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 Somebody might think that uh, it doesn't look like I'm being refreshed, but I'm being refreshed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm being refreshed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So while I was thinking about, you know, while I was meditating, you know, about what to talk about today. So the Lord said to me, Amen. Amen. The Lord said to me, that Jericho's guard is down. Amen. You didn't hear that. Jericho's... The Lord said Jericho's guard is down. Amen. You know what that means? Mm. You know what that means? Mm. When the Lord said Jericho's guard is down. I was thinking about it. I said, what does that mean? Jericho's guard is down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the Bible said to us in Luke chapter 1 verse 37. It said that with God nothing shall be impossible. Hallelujah. So today I've come to declare to you that everything that seems impossible shall be possible yeah. with God. Everything that seems possible in your life right now, that seems impossible, shall be possible in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I declare that anything standing on your way to victory, anything that is standing on your way, hallelujah, no, on your way not to receive that which God has given to you. Anything that is standing on your way by the authority in the name of Jesus, I declare that they are crushed down. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord said Jericho's God is down. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So when the Lord said Jericho's God is down, I went to Joshua chapter 6 because that is where we, the, the, the wall of Jericho came down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I went to Jer uh, Jericho. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I went to Joshua chapter 6. And I began to read. About the wall of Jericho. I said what is God trying to say to us? He said that Jericho's guard is down. It means that every guard of the enemy against your life is down. Amen. You didn't hear that. Yes. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It means that every guard of the enemy against your life is down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody say Jericho's guard is down. Amen. Jericho's guard is down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jericho's guard is down. Whatever Jericho that is standing against your way to success, every of their guard is down in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I say any Jericho standing on your way to fulfilling your destiny is down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever Jericho that is standing on your way to achieving all that God has for you is down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any Jericho standing on your way to promised land is down in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Their God is coming down. Amen. I said their God is coming down. Amen. Every Jericho standing against Christ Solution Ministry, your God is down. Amen. Every Jericho standing against the church of God, your God is down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So I began to read in Joshua chapter 6, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I began to read in Joshua chapter 6, I saw the story of how Joshua and the Israelites gained victory over their enemies. Over the enemy that was standing on their way to possessing the promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I said, Lord, it's our month of peace and praise. <laughs> I was expecting a word about peace. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. And the Lord began to minister to me that this is your way to peace. Mm -hmm. This is peace. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. He said, this is peace. Amen. 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 Somebody said, this, this is, peace. is peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 So before we go to Joshua chapter 6, I want us to look at Joshua chapter 5. Amen. Joshua chapter 5. You know, what happened if we go back because God has promised the children of Israel that they were going to go into the promised land. Amen. So if we go back from the beginning of Joshua, in Joshua chapter 2, the Bible declares that Joshua sent out spies to the land, to the city of Jericho to spy out the city. Praise the Lord. And they went to spy out the city and they came back with report to Joshua. And when you read in Joshua chapter 3, chapter 4, God, the, the, the Lord drive the, the Jordan. For the children of Israel to, to pass on dry land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then coming to chapter 5. The Bible says in the, in, in the book of Joshua chapter 5. It says that the kings of the Hamorites. The kings of the Canaanites. He said when they heard that God has dried the Jordan for the children of Israel. Their, their heart melted. I say every heart of your enemy shall be melted. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. The heart of your enemies shall be melted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said when they heard that God dried up the Jordan for the children of Israel to walk through, they, they are, they, they are, their hearts were melted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if, you, if we read it from in chapter 4, the scripture says that the, the, the men of Israel that passed through the Jordan to Jericho were 40,000 men. Men of war. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They were 40,000 men of war. And they were equipped for battle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They were equipped for the battle. Amen. Amen. They were equipped for the battle. Hallelujah. Amen. So they went through the Jordan. And then when they crossed over the Jordan, already the heart of their enemies were melting. Praise the Lord. And then the Lord said to Joshua, He said, circumcise the sons of Israel. Amen. Amen. And the Bible began to explain why God said to Joshua, circumcise the sons of Israel. He said, because those that were circumcised in the wilderness, they all perished in the wilderness. Why? Because they did not obey the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Lord said they will not get to the promised land. So these ones were their children. And then God said, Joshua, these ones are their children. They need to be circumcised. Praise the Lord. He says they need to be circumcised. The Bible said, resist, he said, submit yourself to God. And resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Praise the Lord. Before you resist the devil, you must make sure that your heart is circumcised. Praise the Lord. Before you go and resist the devil, you must make sure that your heart is circumcised. Amen. 
You must make sure that your heart is circumcised by submitting to God. Submitting yourself to God, to His will, to His plan, and to His purpose. Amen. And we see that after God said to Joshua, to circumcise, and Joshua circumcised the people, and then after Joshua circumcised the people, God came. Hallelujah. After He circumcised the people, God came in chapter 5, verse 9. The scripture says, Then the Lord said to Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore the name of the place was called Gilgal. Hallelujah. Amen. I have come to declare to you that every reproach of the enemy against your life, the Lord has rolled it away. Amen. I said the Lord has rolled it away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every reproach of the enemy. Every reproach of shame, of disgrace, of rebuke, of humiliation, of insults. The Lord has rolled them away. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But what the Lord was saying is, what he was saying to Joshua, when he said, this day I will roll away the reproach of Egypt. The Lord was saying to Joshua, this day I am committed to run down every enemy that reproach you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, this day I am committed to run down every reproach against you. Amen. Why? Because you have committed and submitted yourself to me. Amen. Because you have circumcised your heart before me. And as a result, every reproach against you ceased. Amen. I say every reproach against you ceased Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, precious Lord. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, we go down to verse 13. When we go down to verse 13 of Joshua chapter 5, <clears throat> the Bible says, Hallelujah. Amen. That's, and it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked. Hallelujah. Amen. He lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn. Hallelujah. Amen. I have come to announce to you. Those that have committed themselves to the Lord. Those that have submitted their heart to the Lord. I have come to announce to you today that as you lift up your eyes and look today, that there is a man standing by you. Amen. I said there is a man standing by Amen. you. It's not just an ordinary man, but there is a man that is standing Amen. by you. This day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is standing with his sword Amen. drawn. He is standing with his sword drawn. Amen. All you have to do is look. Yes. All you have to do is lift up your eyes Amen. and look. Say to your neighbor, lift up your eyes and look. Lift Say, lift up your eyes and look. Hallelujah. Amen. All you have to do is lift up your eyes and look. Joshua lifted up his eyes and he looked. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Joshua lifting up his eyes and looking. You know, I began to think about that. I began to meditate on that. Joshua lifted up his eyes and he looked. You know, Joshua was probably praying. Hallelujah. He was probably praying. Amen. Saying to the Lord, Lord, this is what I think Joshua was saying. The Bible said he lifted up his eyes and he looked. So this is what I think he was saying. He was saying, Lord, Jericho is before you. Hallelujah. Because Jericho's war when you look up, I don't know if you can see where it ends. Amen? Because the Bible tells us that the wall is erected up to heaven. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I don't know if you look up, you will see the end of the wall. Amen? But the Bible said Joshua lifted up his eyes and looked. And I said, look, I think Joshua was praying and saying, Lord, Jericho is before you. Jericho is before you, Lord. And he said, Lord, I have seen you parted the Red Sea. He said, Lord, I have seen you do wonders in the wilderness. He said, Lord, I have seen you try the Jordan. Just few days ago or weeks ago, 
Praise the Lord. I have seen you parted the Jordan for us to pass through. You know? And he said to Lord, Lord, I am surely sure. Hallelujah. Amen. I surely know without a shadow of a doubt that you will part these walls. Amen. I said the Lord will part your walls. Amen. The Lord will part every wall standing on your way. Amen. Every wall that is standing on your way to greatness, the Lord will part them Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I can picture Joshua saying, Lord, I know that this is a small thing for you. Mm. You that has parted the Red Sea, you that has done wonders, miracles in the wilderness. Ah. You that causes manna to fall from heaven. You that dry the Jordan for us to pass through. Lord, this is a small thing for you. Lord, this is a small thing for you. He said, Lord, I do not know how it's going to be done. But I just know that Jericho will be parted. He said, Lord, I don't know how it's going to be done. But all I know is that Jesus' walls will be parted for your children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. These walls shall be parted for your children. Amen. Amen. He said, I believe. Hallelujah. I just believe. Somebody say, I just believe. I just believe. Somebody say, I just believe. I, just believe. I have a witness in my spirit. That these walls are parting. That these walls are parting. Hallelujah. Amen. Joshua said, Lord, I know that I know that I know in my knower that these walls will give way. Amen. Somebody say, Every wall standing on my way, give way. Every wall standing on my way, I said, give way. Every wall standing on my way, give way. Every wall standing on my progress, give way. Everywhere standing on my success, give way. Everywhere standing on my marriage, give way. Everywhere standing against my children, give way. Everywhere standing against the church of God, give way. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, give way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And when Joshua said that, the Bible says he saw a man. Hallelujah. I said you will see a man. Amen. You will see a man. Amen. It's not just a man, but you will see a man. Amen. A man that is more than a man. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when he saw him, the Bible said Joshua said, went to him and said, we are still in verse 13. He saw a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us? Or are you for our adversary? Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Are you for us? Or are you for our adversary? And verse 14 says, So he said, No. I like the way the King James Version says it. But verse 14 says, in my new King James Version, He said, No. But as a commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. Malika Basana. Only minister Eunice got that. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, he said in the King James, he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord, am I now come. Yeah, I Somebody said, the captain of the host of the Lord, the host of the Lord is now come, is come unto, me unto me in the name of Jesus. The, name of Jesus. the captain of the, the host of the Lord, of the host of the Lord is, now is now come unto me, unto, me, unto my household, unto my in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, I'm neither for you nor am I for your mm. adversary. He said, but I have come mm. as the captain of the, of the host of the Lord. Mm. As the commander of the army of the Lord. That is El Sabiot. Mm. Praise the Lord. That is El Sabiot. The captain of the Lord's host. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The amplified version said, put the amplified. He is the commander. He is the captain. Amen. And then the amplified version said, no. Neither. He said, no. and he said, no, neither. That means I did not come for you or neither your adversaries. He said, but as a prince of the Lord's host, have I now come. Hallelujah. As a priest of the Lord's host, have I now come. Hallelujah. Amen. He is our commander. Amen. He is our captain. Amen. He is our prince. Amen. He is 
the chief leader. He's the general. He's the Lord. He's the king. He's the master. He's the governor. He's the keeper. He's the ruler. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet and begin to declare who he is in your life. Begin to declare that the Lord of hosts, he is the captain. He's the captain of the host of the Lord. He is the commander. He is the commander. He is the prince. He is the chief leader. He is the general. He is my Lord. He is my king. He is my master. He is the governor. He is our keeper. He is the ruler of all rulers. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you, we give you praise. this is where mm -hmm. the God of Jericho came down. Mm -hmm. When the Lord draw his sword mm -hmm. and said to Joshua, mm -hmm. I have come mm -hmm. as the captain of the host of the Lord. That is where the God of Jericho oh, yes. came down. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. That is where the God of the enemy came down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The God of your enemy are down. Amen. The God of the enemies of the church of God are down. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. The Lord came to let Joshua know that he is the one fighting the battle. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He came to let Joshua know mm -hmm. that the battle is in his hand. Mm -hmm. That he is the one fighting the battle. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That he is the one fighting the battle. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And then the Bible declares that Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot be in the presence of God and not fall on your face. Praise the Lord. You cannot be in the presence of the Lord and you are still standing. Amen. Amen. You must fall on your face and worship him. Hallelujah. Amen. And Joshua said, What does my Lord say to his servant? In other words, Lord, what do you want me to do? Praise the Lord. It is time for us to start asking God, what does my Lord want to say to his servant? Praise the Lord. It's time to say, Lord, tell me what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, Lord, Lord tell, me what to do. tell me what to do. Praise the Lord. Rather than we going away, doing our own thing. Amen. It's time to begin to say, Lord, tell me what to do. In these times and in this season that we are in, it is the time to say, Lord, tell me what to do. Hallelujah. It is not going to be by military might. Amen. 40,000 men of war, equipped and prepared for the battle, crossed over the Jordan on their way to Jericho. But still, Joshua said, Lord, tell me what to do. He said, Lord, what do you want to say to your servant? Why? Joshua could have said, we have 40,000 men. We are well able to take on Jericho. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not by might, it is not by power, says the Lord. Hallelujah. But by my spirit. Hallelujah. It is not by might. It is not by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. It's not going to be by your might. It's not going to be by your power. It's not going to be by military might. It's not going to be by pride and arrogance. Praise the Lord. Pride and arrogance will not lead anyone to victory. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not going to be by your own strength. For by strength shall no man prevail. Hallelujah. So your own strength will not lead you to victory. It will only lead you to chaos. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the Lord said to Joshua. He said... Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandals off your foot, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Praise the Lord. Joshua did so. Amen. And then we came, we come to Joshua chapter 6. Praise the Lord. Now this all happened in Joshua chapter 5. Amen. 
And then when we come to Joshua chapter 6, the Bible said, now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, see. The Lord said to Joshua, see. You know what that word see means? In my Bible, there is an exclamation mark. Verse 2. Put it in verse 2. In my Bible, there is an exclamation mark. The Lord said, see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So in other words, you must see in, your, in the eyes of your spirit yes. that something is done. Amen. Amen. He said, see, I have given Jericho into your hand, its king, and the mighty men of valor. I said, Jericho's God is down. Amen. Jericho's God Amen. is down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have to see with the eyes of your spirit that it is done. Amen. That the God is down. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord was trying to paint a picture to create a picture in the mind of Joshua. Praise the Lord. When he says, see, I have given Jericho into your hand. He was trying to paint a picture, you know, in the mind of Joshua. To cause Joshua to see that Jericho is already in his hand. Praise the Lord. I said, the Lord has given your enemies into your hand. Amen. The Lord has given your enemies into your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You are not saying amen like you mean it. Amen. The Lord has given your enemies into your hand. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, see. see. Say to your neighbor, see. see. The, Lord the Lord has given, has given your enemies your into your hand. Into your hand. The, Lord the Lord has given, has given your enemies your into, into your, your hand. hand. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I have given Jericho into your hand. The God is already down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said, I have given your enemies into your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't say, the Lord didn't say, Joshua, see, I will give you Jericho. He didn't say, I will give Jericho into your hands. No, he didn't say that. He said, I have. Now, some of us, you know, When the Lord speaks, we think it is going to be done next year. So we are waiting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the Lord spoke and he said, I have. Which means it's already done. He said to Joshua in, in, in verse 14 of chapter 5, he said, I have come as the captain of the host of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now he says, see, I have given Jericho into your hand. He didn't say, I will give Jericho into your hand. He has already given Jericho into the hands of Joshua. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want you to say, Lord, Lord everything, everything that, you given, that you have given into my hand, into my hand, into my hand, into my hand I believe it, I, believe it, I receive it, I that it is done it is in the name of Jesus. Name of that it is done it is in the name of Jesus. Name Lord, I believe Lord, I that the God, God of my enemies are down. down. Jericho's God is down. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He says, I have given it into your hand. Amen. He said, the kings and the men of valor. It does not matter the size of the enemy that is coming against you. The Lord has given them unto your hands. It does not matter the size of the enemy coming into your marriage. The Lord has given them into your hands. It does not matter the size of the enemy coming into your family. The Lord has given them into your hands. It does not matter the size of the enemy coming against the church. The Lord has given them into your hands. In the name of Jesus. It does not matter the enemy standing against your destiny. The Lord has given them into your hands. Hallelujah. It does not matter the size. Praise the Lord. You know, we say demons have levels. You know, I always I would say to my children, like Pastor said also last time, I said, demons have different levels. So, when a child of God is supposed to be in, in, in college, and then they are still in primary three, then the demon, 
the size of the demon that is supposed to engage encounter in, in, in college comes. It does not have the what it takes to handle the demon because it still has primary six. No. Uh, you know, um, sorry? Certificate. Uh, still have primary, primary three certificates. Mm -hmm. Does not have the certificate of college. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that is how most believers are. Amen. Praise the Lord. God expects us to grow, to mature. So, so when the demon of of a, a class sees come, and person is, the person is still in primary one, you know, still has certificate of primary one, then he begins to find it difficult to deal with the demon. Why? Because he has not grown spiritually to that level to deal with the demon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the Lord said to Joshua, I have given the king of Jericho into your hand. I have given the mighty men of Jericho into your hand, the men of valor. Hallelujah. The men of valor. Praise the Lord. And so he said in verse 3, he said, you shall march around the city, all you men of war. They are men of war. You shall march around the city. You shall go all around the city once. So the Lord began to give them instructions. Amen. This you shall do six days. And, uh, and seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of rams, of rams' horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times. And the priests shall blow the trumpet. It shall come to pass when they make a long blast with the rams' horn. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all this, the people shall shout with a great shout. Then the wall of the city will fall down flat. Hallelujah. And the people shall go up every man straight before him. These are men of war. Praise the Lord. I don't know the instructions that God is giving you right now. I don't know what strategy God is giving you. Concerning your marriage. Concerning your business. Concerning your life. Concerning fulfilling your destiny. Well, the Lord is giving an instruction. He's giving a strategy. Praise the Lord. These men of war could have said, uh -uh. the Bible said they were equipped and prepared for the battle. We are equipped and prepared for the battle. How come we have to go and be running around the war? Let's fight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, that is the attitude of some believers. When the Lord gives us instruction, we want to use our mind. It is not of him that run it. Neither is it of him that will it. Praise the Lord. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle is to the strong. Hallelujah. Some of us, we just want to use our, our little head. We want to use our senses. We want to use our own human wisdom. Praise the Lord. I was telling my children last time that the, the wisdom of men, the worldly wisdom, in the Bible said is sensual and is devilish. Praise the Lord. Only the wisdom that comes from above is the wisdom that will lead you to success and lead you to prosperity. Praise the Lord. So some people know they want to work it out in their own way. Amen. That is how God is giving us instruction these days in the church, in the body of Christ. But we look at it and say, yeah, no, this one, Satan, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I said that is what you, some people will say. They look, they hear the instruction, they say, Satan, I bind you in Jesus' name. But it is God that is giving the instruction. You know, the plan of God does not always make sense. Amen. Does not make sense to the human mind. But all we need to do is just follow the plan of God and be obedient. Hallelujah. We just need to follow the plan. It doesn't make sense. Amen. The Bible says that the Lord said to Joshua, they were going to battle. The Lord said, take the choir. Take the praise and worship leader. What concerns praise and worship leader with battle, with war? That is the kind of God we serve. It does not make sense. That is why I said to my children, I can even be more undignified. Because it's only God I am looking at, nobody else. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It does not make sense. You are going to fight war. You should carry your gun and your sword and your sheet and your spear and everything. The Lord said, as you are going, take the praise and worship team. Put them in front. Amen. Hallelujah. 
It doesn't make sense to the human mind. But it is divine instruction. Somebody say divine instruction. Yes. Say divine strategy. Yes. Say divine plan. Amen. To lead me. Amen. To fulfill my destiny. Amen. Divine instruction. Amen. Divine plan. Amen. Divine strategy. Amen. That will lead me to success. Amen. Divine plan. Divine, divine plan. instruction. Divine, divine strategy. Divine that will lead me to greatness. Divine instruction. Divine plan. Divine, plan. divine, plan. divine Divine strategy that will lead me to my promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, I release the grace upon you. The grace to receive divine instruction. The grace to receive divine plan. The grace to receive divine strategy. The grace to receive divine direction. To fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If Joshua, as God gave them that instruction, if Joshua and the people, well, let me say, Joshua believed God already. Praise the Lord. Joshua is standing already. But the people that is following Joshua, we don't know what they will say. The Bible did not say that they complained. The Bible did not say that they said anything. But they must have been doubting. They must have been complaining. 40,000 men of war. It's not 10,000. It's not 1,000. Praise the Lord. Some of them must have been thinking, this Joshua has gone mad. Though. This pastor has gone mad. What is this pastor talking about again? Is he the only one hearing from God? He has come again. Praise the Lord. He must have been looking at Joshua and saying, hmm, this time I'm sure everybody is just going to die. Amen. Amen. But that is the doubt and unbelief that makes their fathers not to enter into the promised land. Mm. But this time, the Bible said, God told them, do it this way, do it this way, do it this way, and the war will come down flat. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He said the war will come down flat. Divine instruction. Divine strategy. You are receiving divine strategy in Jesus' Amen. name. You are receiving divine wisdom in Amen. Jesus' name. You are receiving divine direction in Amen. Jesus' name. To know how. Amen. To know how. Amen. To know how. Amen. That thing that you are waiting for, that you are believing God for, that you are talking to God about, God is releasing divine direction Amen. for you. He's releasing divine direction to Amen. you in the name of Jesus Amen. on how to go about it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, because of time, let me jump to verse 10. He said, now Joshua had commanded the people saying, you shall not shout or make any noise with your voice. Nor shall, the, shall a word proceed out of your mouth until the day I say to you, shout. Mm. It's difficult for some people. Mm. Just keep quiet for seven days. Have you heard that before? It's only, it only happens with God. You know the reason why people are not entering their promised land and why they are not seeing breakthrough is because most people are not walking according to the rule, the instruction of God. Praise the Lord. Because when we obey God to the letter, you must see changes. It's not a man. Is that not what we say? You are not a man, no. You are not a man, no. It's man that can promise you something and then later he say, forget it. But God is not a man. Praise the Lord. He will never lie. Amen. Joshua said, don't say a word. Don't say a word. It will be difficult for grace to keep quiet. Praise the Lord. Amen. It will be difficult for some people to keep quiet. This time. Amen. Even in church, when they say, let's be silent, you still hear some people. You still hear some people. Praise the Lord. When they say let's be silent, some people cannot just be silent. Sometimes it's pride and arrogance. You think you are talking to God. When they say it's silent, just be silent. He said be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Sometimes we think we are just too spiritual. Sometimes we are over spiritual to nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, divine instruction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Divine instruction. 
Hallelujah. He said, don't shout. Let no word come out of your mouth. He said, be quiet until the day I tell you. Mm. And people will just sit down until they won't come to church again because pastors say we cannot talk in church, so we won't pray. Sometimes, so we won't pray. We won't sing praise and worship. We won't do anything. He just said, God said we should be quiet for seven days. Let's sit down and talk since we are not doing anything in church. Amen. Amen. Divine instruction that will lead you to your promised land. That will bring down the God of Jericho. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then he says, so he had the ark of the Lord circle the city going around it once. 